So welcome back again to the Coppola Sims tutorial and in this tutorial again we will going to cover the part 3 where we will going to design the bubble rope completely and in this we will going to add some programming. So we will going to show you that what we have done till part 2. So as you can see that this was the model which we have designed following the part 1 and part 2 tutorial. So we have created a bubble rope in which we have got a sensing nose, we have got a right motor, left motor, we have got a connections, then we have got a associated cylinders which are been in the surrounding. And when we play it, you can see that uh, bubble rope body is not moving. We will going to stop it. Now what we have to do next is we have to do the programming part of it. And we will going to add the sensors in a bubble rope so that they can detect that whether the obstacle is present or not. So we will going to add a vision sensor in the bubble rope. So how we will going to add the vision sensor is that we will go on to the add button then from there we will going to select a vision sensor and then we will going to select the perspective type sensor then what we have to do is that we have to attach this vision sensor with the proximity sensor okay that is our sensing nose. So we have to make a relation between the that we have to select the vision sensor and the, then we have to select the sensing nose and then we have to make it that last selected object as a parent. Then what we have to do, we have to select a vision sensor and then we have to put the positions. Okay. And the position which we are setting is 0, 0, 0 and that is with respect to the parent frame. Okay. And what is the parent frame? Parent frame is my sensing nose. Same thing which we have to do for the orientation part. Okay, so this first part is the position dialog box and second part is the orientation dialog box. So in both we have to set the 0, 0, 0. That means we are not moving it. We are fixing it with the sensing nose. Okay, so we have to make sure that whenever we are putting 0, 0, 0 in x, y, z coordinate, we have to select relative to the parent frame, not to the word frame. So let me do it for you on the software. So here we will go on to the add button. And then we will going to add a perspective type sensor. You can see a vision sensor has been selected. Now I will go and select vision sensor, then control sensing nose and we'll go on to the edit button and make last selected object as a parent. Now vision sensor is here. Now what I have to do, I have to go on to the position dialog box. Then here I have to click on position. And here first I have to select it with respect to the parent frame and then I have to give 0, 0, 0. Okay. Close it. Again you go on to the orientation dialog box. Go on to the orientation. Select parent frame and you can see we have set it to the minus 90 degree. Now again we are putting it 0, 0, 0. Okay, so now you can see the sensor, vision sensor which we have got is now been aligned with the sensing nose. Save your model. Now, the next step which we have to do is that we have to set the properties of this vision sensor. So what we will going to do, we have got a near and far clip plane. It has been measured in the meters. So we have to put it one far clipping plane item to the one and the resolution which we are putting X and Y that I have to put 256 by 256. Go on to the vision sensor, double click it. Here you can find near and far clipping. Make it 1. Then here make 256 by 256. Next step what you have to do is that you have to add a floating view to the scene. Okay. We have to click on add button and from add button we have to click on floating view. So you will going to see that this floating view, a uh, empty floating view will going to appear here. Okay, so let me add this one, a floating view with respect to the vision sensor. So I, this is my object where I've created the object. I'm clicking here. My vision sensor is already selected. I'm adding add floating view. So you can see a floating view empty is appearing. Next, what we have to do, we have to click on that floating view. Okay, we have to select, uh, uh, right click on that floating view pop-up menu and then we have to go on to the view and then we have to click on associate view with the selected vision sensor. So you will going to see a bubble rope sensor will going to 
come like this so let me do it for you go here view click on associate view with the vision sensor okay now you can play this so you can see uh, we are getting a cylinders here now we, this we can see this is a kind of a camera that is coming and whatever the cylinders are here they are being shown here okay stop it save your model now the next what we have to do is that we have to rename it to the sensor so whatever the vision sensor you have created you have to rename it as a sensor so it will be my sensor so i'm going here rename it as a sensor and enter next what we have to do is that now we start with the embedding script that has been used in the bubble loop which will going to allow you to move your bodies so you can also follow the tutorial which is given on the website of a uh, copula robotic.com okay so we have got i have given you the link from where you can copy the codes that are available there the next step which we have to do is that we will going to add a child script to the vision sensor so basically we are using two type of script editors that are being used in a copula sim one is the python and another one is the lua so we will be using a lua one here okay so uh, when you are using a python you require the python dependencies okay and you have to install the python and all and some libraries related to this but for lua you don't have to do all that okay so we will go with the lua one so what we have to do is that we will go on to this vision sensor then we will going to click on this and then we will going to click on add button from add i will go on to the associated child script and from associate child script i will going to select non thread and then i will going to select a lua and you will going to see a notepad type icon will going to come at the vision sensor okay then what we have to do we have to double click on that vision sensor notepad icon which we have the basically this is the script file where you will going to write your program okay and this function will going to appear now what you have to do you have to copy the code here and you have to update your file so this is a small code which has been used for the vision sensor this codes are also given on the website let me show you that also so here you can see the source which i was explaining was this you can go on to this website here all the bubble rope tutorial is been given okay so you can see that uh, when we come to the bottom here we are adding the add associated child script non thread okay and here we have got a python programming and we have got a lua so you can copy the code from here also uh, we will going to add the script to the bubble rope body okay so that we can control the behavior of a bubble rope so for that again we have got a python and lua code they are available here so you can copy from here okay however there will be few errors that will going to be encountered okay and uh, you should be able to solve it okay we will going to tell you in the next uh, tutorial if you are getting the error what you have to do so let me go here i have a sensor i will right click on it then i will going to add and then i will going to select associate child script non thread and i will going to select a lua i will going to open it and here i will going to select control a delete and since i have already got the code available with me so let me paste it here so i will going to paste it here control s or you can use this button this is the restart the script okay so whatever you have written it will going to be restarted and it will going to save the model close it. so we have added this child script into this script editor now what we have to do again we have to add a child script to control the behavior of a bubble rope okay so again we have to use the same option like we have to go on to the bubble rope we have to select a bubble rope as a body then we have to go on to the add then associate child script non thread lua and then you again get the this script editor window will going to come there you have to double click on this and again you will be getting something like this here what you have to do you have to paste this code okay so i have a code with me i will going to paste it here so let me go to the bubble rope right click add associate child script non thread lua then i will go double click on it control a delete control v now you can see i have got a thing here now you can see that the left uh, this program which i am having is having a bubble rope underscore left motor name 
but I have not given a bubble loop underscore left motor. What I have given, I have given only the left motor. So I have to change this name as a left motor. Again, I have to do because it will go into if uh, variables are not satisfied, it will go into throw the error. Again, right motor. Then we have got a sensing nose. And then again, we have got a bubble rope graph. So I have given only the graph. Bubble rope clearance are the by default it is been used. And then anything else you have given? No. Control S, save it, close it. Now next what we have to do, you have to complete the bubble ropes. Okay, so that we can make this as an obstacle avoidance robot. So now what we will going to do is that we will going to run the simulation and we will try to see it whether we are getting the this type of graph or not. Okay, so we are expecting what that if we run the simulation, we will be getting the bubble rope like this. Okay, that it will going to try to move and as soon as it will going to find the obstacle, it will going to return back. Okay. So this is the complete setup which you required. So let me do it on my design which we have done. So let me run it. So can you see now my bubble rope already is moving and as it comes here, uh, the bubble rope are being turning right or left. Okay. And the cylinders are being captured by the sensor. And here in the graph, you can see that we are getting the bubble rope clearance. That means how uh, the bubble rope is approaching to the uh, cylinder. So all the distance are coming. This is with respect to the time. Here we have got a bubble rope speed. Okay, we can decrease the bubble rope. Okay, or we can increase the bubble rope speed. Same thing which we can do is from here also. You can find the there we have got a turtle and rabbit. So the turtle is being used to slow up the speed. Okay. So you can see that the speed is been slow. Okay. And rabbit is been used for the speed up simulation. Okay. You will going to see that now my bubble rope body is moving very fast. So let me stop it. So this was all about the lecture which we have designed so that you can understand the step by step processor how our bubble rope body works. Okay. So I have tried to explain it in the three parts because if we have make it in a one video, the uh, the video will be very long. So thank you everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. We hope you have gained some knowledge from our videos. If you really like our videos, we request you to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you.